Welcome to another episode of The Collector's Review. In this week's episode of Fake vs. Real, I'm going to be going through the San Diego Comic Con 2018 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 pack VHS edition. So make sure you guys stay tuned for this week's Fake vs. Real. <laughs> Alright man, so let's get into it real quick before I start. Like always, like, share, and subscribing. I'm trying to give you guys as many videos as I can. Right now in this episode, I'm going to be guys showing you guys the differences in the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. Um, but for the real version, I'm not going to be opening up the real version. I'm going to be using the GameStops. Uh, versions that I have I have the real version but I don't want to bust them open when I already have the GameStop ones opened just a waste of money but I'll be showing you guys the boxes up close so I got more videos dropping soon make sure you guys stay tuned I'm gonna be doing the 1000 subscriber contest soon so I'm, I'm gonna get everything together so make sure you guys look out for that make sure you hit that little ring bell once you subscribe to so you guys can see when the videos drop so let's get into it real quick I took the action figures out of the middle of the boxes so I took the boxes out so so this is just the top right now right now we're gonna go through what is on the cover and off top on the cover to tell for the fake version and the real version the real version has beat up spots because when I first got it I thought I was mad because I thought it cut so like right here I thought I cut the box and I didn't cut the box. They have different wear and tears, like right there, like it's an old VHS on the real version. Now on the fake version, it's darker and you can't see. So you can't see it at all. So it doesn't have it there. Doesn't have it at all on the side. And this one came all beat up. But it came with a couple extra things, so I'll show you guys that when we get to it. So, real quick on the things that I've seen different with the boxes. I'll show you the sides. Like I said, the, the beat up spots. So let me get you up close with the sides real quick. So I'll start from the bottom. Like I said, the beat up spot on the left to the right. Just a little bit darker on the fake version. So that's the side. Let's get to the back. All right, so here's the back of it real quick. Just so I can give you guys up close. The differences between the two, the numbers are the same. And again, you'd like always, if you guys see any differences that I don't see, just shoot it in the comments. I'd love to know because I'm trying to figure out the differences and everything. But it looks about right on the back, just a little darker on it. Then one thing that I did notice, though, let's do the top. So one thing that I did notice with the tops, if you don't notice off hand the real one is the top one and the fake one is the bottom one and for the real one it has a more faded black look than more the straight black look I don't know if you guys can tell but then another tall tell that I could see is the Nickelodeon sign on both of them so the Nickelodeon sign on this one is on the bottom because that's how the Nickelodeon sign is. And this one is a darker orange and this the Nickelodeon is in the middle. Then if you could tell too, it's a little bit uh, brighter for the warning sign than this one. You could just, the, the lines on the outside of them. See how dark it is on that one. So that's a big thing to see. Let's get to the rest of it. All right, so let's get to the action figures at hand. Now, I'm holding the camera, so sorry if it's a little shaky with how big these boxes are. I got to go in and out real quick and show you guys, 
stuff real quick I want to be able to hold it and do it so let's get to the action figures real quick so the left is the real the right is the fake if you check out the plastic just see how clean the plastic is on it and how everything is in order NECA does mess up sometimes but on this one the plastic is beat up and they don't mess up that bad like let me zoom in see the plastic right there around his arms how beat up it is and choppy so especially this one now if you look at the the real version clean and no choppiness to it and these are on all of the fake ones like right there so and again with the tape like I said with the other NECA toys I don't know if you watched some of my other fake verse reels so if you see this tape that is, I think it was three quarters when I measured it before compared to NECA's one inch tape. So this is NECA's tape going from here to here. And you can see it on the box too. So real quick and then one big thing that I've seen that they said with the fake one is Michelangelo's eyes. He's looking off to the left. So, real quick, let's get into this. All right, sorry to show you guys the rest of the box. Top is the real, bottom is the fake. You can see off top the difference right there. The brightness of the greens in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle so let's look at the back real quick so this is the back real quick left is the real right is the fake again with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sorry I had to lean the fake one because the box is all messed up and then the same thing with the back of this the Nickelodeon see the difference big difference in there and then let me try getting you guys close in real quick just to show you the tape real quick that I was talking about all right real quick so get in there close you see the tape size right there that's what I was talking about the fake tape goes to right here you see that little shiny spot and then the real one goes to there so big size difference let me show you guys the bottom real quick so here's the bottom and on the bottom for this one on the bottom of it the Nickelodeon sign is in the right place but it is darker than the real version and everything else seems about right with it with all the logos and again if you guys see anything that I don't see please let me know so real quick show you guys the sign so the left is the real right is the fake you can see it's a little bit darker just in their faces just a tad bit had to lean it again sorry because it is messed up so I'll show you the other side real quick here goes the other side let's get in close see if we see any differences this looks pretty good looks like the fake ones a little bit lower but I don't know if that's positioning of the box the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles again is brighter on the real one all right let's get to the toys all right so got these boys unboxed like I said these are from the GameStop ones but from my recollection, these are the exact same as the San Diego Comic Cons. Just San Diego Comic Con ones came with the pizza and the ooze and everything like that. So let's get to it real quick. 
like always like share and subscribe and I'm gonna start off with showing you guys the differences between the turtles and then I'll go to the accessories and make sure you guys look out uh, the fake one that I ordered actually came with some other stuff it costed me quite a bit for the fake one the fake one all together was like a hundred hundred bucks I think it was um, but then it also came with uh, this kind of cheesy hokey fire hydrant that I can probably I'll paint up and everything like that and try making it for a diorama then he came with a skateboard and then camcorder sorry catch on the back and everything so camcorder then four oh sorry I dropped that one four coca-cola bottles so I thought those were pretty cool the four coca-cola bottles and then a cart so a little push cart so I thought that and it's perfect size for them see so thought that was pretty cool and then a motorcycle so and this was actually all inside the box and I took it out of the box before showing you guys before because I didn't want it to damper the back I wanted you guys to see the full comparison of what it's supposed to be like so let me get this out of the way real quick. All right, so without holding you guys up, let's get to the Ninja Turtles real quick. And we're gonna start off with Leonardo. So the left is the real, the right is the fake. I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know if his head is like that for good. Let me try moving it over real quick because it looked like it was to the side. So it looks a little bit better. Well, off top, what I didn't like is the fake one. Looks like he was like eating you know some turtle booty or something that made it too light on his mouth right there they have it on this one but not as bad so here they go up to down you can tell the colors in the chest pieces this one's a, a more yellowish and this one's more lighter than the shading around the shoulders and everything right here and you can see that line right there this one has the line but it's more of an indentation line this one's more of a sticking out like the of the mold line then you can tell on their straps right here this strap isn't even let me stretch them out real quick if you guys didn't see the other video I did the video for the articulations of this one so for these ones I'll show you the articulations of these of the fakes and yes these are fakes the the ones to the right are a hundred percent fakes on ebay it even said the teenage mutant ninja turtles knock off like that was the name of it so yes they do make fakes of these so let's get to the hands real quick show you the close-up hands any difference or the arms see the shading right there like i was saying that's a lot real dark the hands don't look bad but again it has that line going through it that's like the molding line so then like I said the straps now the arms you see this with the the real one you see how it's detailed it has the lines there that you can see this one it has a little bit but it ain't as detailed it had the, the the real one has a little shine to it and it's not as but this one this turtle is a little darker on the skin right there I'm looking on the legs the dots are bigger on the fake one see how prominent those dark spots are and check out the knee pads knee pads ain't bad but again you get that line right there 
sorry wrong side that line right there that you see that's what it seems like a lot of the fake one has so down to the feet do we got stuff on the bottom yes we have both of them have something on the bottom and both of them say the same thing and both of their holes are the same look at the backs real quick so the right one is darker as you can tell this is more brownish so it's a little darker back of the head but all around seems pretty pretty good but the spots on him are darker and then the back of the oh that's not bad they both have the metal so all around not bad the head seems you see the gap in between for the neck the gaps are a little bit different bigger so let me just real quick show you I just gonna show one articulation because it's all the same just to show that he moves the same front kick because I don't got time I'm not trying to make you guys sit through all the articulations on these so back if you want to check out the articulations on the other ones just check out the GameStop one the, the GameStop unboxing of all the Ninja Turtles I'll have it at the end of this so it's him doing the splits legs feel a little flimsy and everything arms move pretty good though arms move pretty good though head up you see that little ledge around it that little ledge around his neck so head up head down so it doesn't look pretty bad so for the rest of them I'm just gonna show you guys the action figures themselves if you want me to make a video on the articulation of the fake of all the fakes and go into real detail on the fakes just tell me then we'll get to Michelangelo with this one you could definitely tell big tall tail and the face so you see their faces just wait one second let me boom all right so you see the right one the fake one is looking to the left or the right whatever one you want to say you're angled at and then you see his mouth again he's eating on some pizza or something that that is horrible the dots on his face on the fake one are more real and then his scarf is like a lot more dirtier I don't know it looked like he got burnt or something so let's bring these up and down real quick just to show you the close up again I don't know if you can see I don't know if it's the light let me see if you can see the difference in the chest pieces this one has shading around just like faint shading wish it was a little bit more and then again these spots on the fake ones are very dark and then this one has a little bit of brown a little bit of hint of reddish brown to it and this one is just straight brown but that's not something you'll be able to tell right away by looking the belts on him on mine are pretty good then get to the arms arms too this one isn't as dark for the arms like the other one was So it looks like, okay, yeah, it does have veins. I was going to say the fake one doesn't have veins. But they're about, even the backs, the back on this one you can see is just a hint uh, actual brown instead of the dark, more darkish like wood brown on this one. Back leg joints you can see are different. There's a big gap there on both backs. On the... Neck of one, it's pretty close to the leg, so you can get that bend. And this one is so you can get, I guess, more of a bend in it. But it seems like this is detached from it, or, or actually, you can move this too. So, yeah, you can move this too. So, they, damn, that's they did these pretty good. But so, the, the, the one big tall tail in this is the dots that I'm seeing. You see how darker their dots are and uh, 
Michael Michelangelo's eyes definitely and this paint on the mouth you see the paint on this the, the, that's a horrible paint job on there so let me put him back real quick let's look at Donatello there's Donatello close up again the paint job on that on the mouthpiece right there is just horrible so let's get these two so the strap looks pretty good the arms look pretty good so the face and the eyes look pretty good like I said it's really the paint job on the mouth and the dots that I'm seeing so far the shading around this this area and the color of this is different compared to this and this one I don't know if you can see you see with the light hitting it has the little bumps this one's just more of a plain just just plain like missing something and his chest piece is a little crooked you see how high this goes up over here how high it goes up over here and then over here yeah I don't like that but again it's the fake so I expected that and I don't know his leg look a little skinnier does it? Nah maybe I'm tripping again the dots and the molding but he looks pretty good in the back same thing um, the back with the fake now that I noticed does not have the straps in it the reel has the straps in there the fake doesn't even look like they tried putting them in there they're probably like screwed at this piece looks pretty pretty close and then the color of the shell it's just a tad off but and on the back of his legs it looks like I don't see no dots like there's a hint of dot like I don't know if you see right there but like on his there's dot 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 dark dark so that's and it looked like his shell is shaped a little bit different to me. Tell me what you guys think. It looks like the shell to me is a tad bit smaller on the fake version. And then you can tell the purple, there's a different color in the purples. This is a lighter purple, this is a darker purple and definitely the top of his head so with this one you could definitely tell lighter purple and it looks like a dull it's like more of a dull paint compared to this little shiny purple paint sorry for taking so long guys I've been trying to give you guys detailed in and out I know it's gonna be a long ass video but if you really want to know the differences you'll stick around and like always like share and subscribe man try helping me out just hit that bottom button Right now, trying to get to a thousand. Trying to pick it up. Trying to give you guys more and more videos. You guys loving the NECA videos, so that's dope. So, let's get into Ralph. Alright, let me focus in. And again, with the paint on this one, man. The, with this one, the look, the has, you can see it a little bit. But this is just... I don't like that that's just really annoying me um, as for the face on the real one you see the detail the shading you see the shading in his eye real quick let me get a pen or something sorry because I saw him stop pointing so you see the shading in his eye right up here compared to this up here then the shell of course the color like I said and those are different than the dots again man um, his chest piece is better on this one than it was on the other one then His belt It's okay, but the if you can tell let me get in close here You see how small those dots are Those are clean pretty precise You know and then you got these dots That it looks like they're just blotches right there compared to how clean this one looks so boom boom okay now look at the rest of the body 
And again, on the knee pads, all the knee pads have that middle line for the mo for the mo where the molding was. No shading on the feet like that. The hands. This one seems bigger. I don't know if it's because I'm closer. It seems longer, right? So, the arms. And I don't know, his neck, his face, his head sits forward a little bit more compared to the real one where his head is sitting up. And then here goes the back, and again with the metallic look. And he has some dots on the back of his leg though that I see. And he has veins, but you see his veins over here are less faint, and it's less, not as shiny as the this one. As you can tell, it's shiny, but I guess it's a different. This is a light, seems like a lighter green to me. A lighter green. So, let me get to the accessories real quick. So, these are the swords. Let me drop them down. Now. So, you can see the metal handle part, the real ones thicker this piece right here this piece right here and that piece you can see it's just a little thicker and then the bottom of this one has a little dot on it and this one doesn't The same for these. This one has green paint on it. So it must have been when they were painting. And the same thing. A little dot there. And the fake one does not have that dot. Right is the fake, left is the real. It's like the wiring is a lot different. You see how this, you can do that, and it stays up like that. This one, any way you turn it, is going to go down. The fake one's a lot more dirty, more black splotches than anything. So the right is the fake, left is the real. Get closer. The real one looks a little, th just like a hair thicker, I don't know. Be sitting here looking at stuff so long, that it'd be hard to tell. So, that was that one. And then let's grab one of these each. Uh, you can tell off top this one, this one has a dirty metal look on the fake one. I could have made them a little sharper. But pretty close and pretty good. Then the fake one came with this stuff, the pizza. show you the other side of the box real quick so this is the TCRI canister radioactive material the pizza box So I thought that was pretty cool. Now I don't know, I couldn't show you guys the how close it is to the real one, but I didn't open up the San Diego Comic Con one like I was saying. 
cost it too much especially when I seen that it came out they came out with the GameStop variants so that was every single one close up for you guys I hope you guys like the episode been trying to give you guys as much as I can I'm still gonna be coming at you guys daily if there's anything in this video that you guys seen that I didn't see, man, hey, shoot it in the comments. Tell me what you guys think. If there's anything that you guys are looking to get on box that you guys want to get on box, I'm trying to stay on top of everything that comes out. I will try getting to it as soon as possible. I'm going to be dropping a lot more videos. I have more fake versus real, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Like always, like, share, and subscribe. Peace.